Hello guys, I'm Alex and welcome to another World of Tanks review. And this time I'm gonna take a look at BDR G1B, a tier uh, 5 French heavy tank. It is the first uh, decent one in this line. The other ones are really bad, uh, even to consider it a heavy line. So take a look at uh, this uh, D2. It is uh, more lightly armored than the light version, the same tier. And uh, uh, it's the same story as tier 4. B1 uh, looks uh, pretty good on paper, but it's an awful tank. Um, I think we um, have a chance to, to bounce uh, some shots, but it has really big weak spots and uh, the clan is awful and uh, combined with a really slow tank try to avoid it I'll go uh, through it with free experience and uh, got to the BDRG one and it's good you start uh, with the 75mm gun um, it's in stock form. It's kind of bad. But I got, um, I think uh, for me it was the 75, and just because I play with the light line at first. And uh, with the 75, um, can really do good work. But when you get full upgraded and have these 9 millimeters. It makes all the difference in this tank. Um, interest is not great, it's 125, but it's sufficient at this tier to go through everything. Um, the uh, precision is not great, 0.4, but not all tanks are at this tier. But uh, the thing that stands out is the um, alpha damage to 240 and that is uh, well above everything else in this tier and it means can shot one shot uh, artillery. Uh, let's compare it a little bit with uh, um, the gun on um, KB1. And here we can see um, the K1 has uh, lower penetration, lower alpha, higher rate of fire, and even uh, longer aiming time and uh, worse precision. And that makes this 90mm really competitive on um, tier 5 scene. Uh, the armor on this tank is. Uh, not so great compared to the KV, but uh, we can uh, bounce some shots, some miracle shots with it. We'll, uh, we'll angle it just a little bit. The upper plate can do that with his 60 millimeters. Uh, the sides are pretty flat and big, and uh, that makes you high profile target and uh, easily penetrated if you have sufficient. Um, penetration with the, your gun. Also this uh, Commander's Cupola it sticks uh, really uh, hard. Maybe you can, can get shot in it if you don't see the enemy but they see your Cupola. It's not a really a weak armor over here. It is uh, the same 80 like in all the turrets but um, it stands out and even in increases your profile from the front and from the side. And to overall, I really enjoy this tank. Um, I think it's one of the better uh, tier 5. But uh, it doesn't have the troll armor of the KV. Instead, it has a better gun. And the wooden counter. Um, higher uh, tier games, uh, this will uh, help you go through them.
think that's all um, what I say about this tank. Let's see a replay. And uh, if you like uh, what you hear and um, enjoy this, please uh, like and subscribe. And see you next time, guys.
to another wall of strengths review and this time we are going to talk about T110 E5 one of the two tier 10 headways uh, for the USA and uh, this one is I think one of the most acclaimed and uh, well spoke about uh, tier 10 that, that I haven't seen but uh, for me, it's kind of a disappointed. Um, I really hear lots and lots of good things about it, but uh, overall, for me, I, mm, this tank is kind of average. Uh, um, pretty much uh, the same with the uh, M103. Only an uh, improved version of it. Uh, the armor scheme is similar has um, better armor but uh, only in some places we'll see later now what viewer and um, overall uh, it's kind of a mobile tank um, but 